Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video, I am doing a pattern haul for the new Simplicity Summer 2022 patterns. Now you guys know when I posted this about a week and a half ago, I checked my Joann's and they had it in then. I just could not wait to get my hands on these patterns for Simplicity Summer 2022 patterns. Now I'm not gonna take a lot of time because there are a few that I really wanted. So I made sure to be at the store right when they open at 9 a.m. So I hurried up, grabbed my stack, and I was out the store in every bid of 15 minutes, okay? So let's go ahead and get right on into the patterns that I picked up. But before we do so, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button, and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. And you guys know if I receive 150 likes on this video, I will do a sew along for one of the patterns in this video. And I will decide which one that will be. If you want me to do one, you can comment below on which one you think I should do. But after all, I will pick one and you guys will pretty much love it. All right, so the first pattern that I picked up is a bag hat and necklace pattern, which is Simplicity 98, I'm sorry, 9580. It is an average pattern. The bags comes in different shapes and sizes. Now, the reason why I picked up is because it has like the Ankara prints, which was something different and something new that caught my eyes, right? But this one has like, you know, your purchase handles, view B and view B have fabric handles that you can use. And then it comes in three different sizes with the hat, with the white them, and then the necklace. Now, the reason why I picked it up is because on view A, E, and F, I like the, I guess you could call it like a floppy hat. I like that. I like the necklace and I like the bag. So I was plan, planning on doing all three of those for a look. But I also like View D, which is that handbag with the little tassel. I like that as well. Now, some of the fabric options that you can use for this bag, of course, you know, you can use your cotton, denim, canvas, you know, your basic fabric. Just make sure you know that this is a average to sew pattern, which means an intermediate beginner. All right, moving on to the next pattern I picked up was a lounge and beach chair cover, which is Simplicity 9586. Now this is a very easy to sew pattern. And with it being summer and sitting out on the lawn, now I don't sit out on the lawn, but because the 4th of July is coming around and we are having a big, well, I'm not having, my community is having a big 4th of July event. I figured that it would be nice to hurry up and sew if I have some time, you know, a lounge beach chair cover. If not, I could sew it up by Labor Day. That's the real reason why I got it. Um, now it has like hanging side pockets on the side where you could throw your phone, some sunscreen, whatever you may want. It's a folding lounge and beach chair cover up as well. And you know, it has hanging armrest organizers, which offers more storage as well. Now, some of the fabrics that you can use for this includes your canvas, your cotton duck, your denim, your twill, and then you could also use terry cloth too, which is really nice and buttery on that skin, okay? So moving on to the next one is 9587, which is the sewing room accessories. Now, the reason why I picked this up is you guys know that I like to keep my sewing room organized. So when I seen these little baskets, which is C, D, E, and F, now the baskets is view C, D, and E. So th that's exactly what I want to do is just the baskets or hang the, I guess you could call it like the baskets that you could put on the canisters is a better word of using, a better term to use, canisters, which comes in three different sizes. Um, I'm not going to add the trim or anything. Um, it does come with padded lids as well, but I strictly picked it up to four view C, D, and E, which I will make canister to put like uh, zippers in one, you know, your needles in another, things that you use all the time, which I use a lot of buttons and zippers. I don't use a lot of snaps, but I do use a lot of different needles as well. So that's why I picked it up. And I think this will be one of the first things that I make out of this collection. Next pattern is Simplicity 9589, which is fabric 
it's like baskets it's like these um tote bags and you know it has fabric handles but one thing that i would notice is that i would take instead of doing a fabric handle i would do a rope and um that's what you see in view b right there some of the fabric options um includes your cotton types your linen your canvas your twill, um, your denim. Now, I like the fact that View C is a wristlet with a zipper and View D is like a purchase belt. Now, I would do pretty much all the views on this pattern <laughs> for different reasons. So that's why I picked it up because you could, you know, basically take an accessory pattern and make it great. All right, so don't sleep on these accessory patterns. Next pattern is Simplicity 9590. So all of these are Simplicity, so I'm not gonna say Simplicity every single time moving forward, but this is 9590. It's a pair of overalls. You guys know that I have been doing hashtag so much colors, and I know my good friend Talisha came out with these overalls, and when I seen these overalls, honey, I was like, I am definitely picking up this. Now, it states that it is have, on the website, I did see when I, before I picked it up that it has a relaxed fit, a straight leg, and it has like a cropped ankle view as well. Now, for me, I think that I would do view A, the long view, instead of the crop ankle view. It just seems like it's high waters on view B. Now, this is an easy to sew pattern from the front of the pattern. I like the fact that it has the bib. Of course, I'm, I'm a girl, I'm a sucker for overalls, okay? <laughs> so I like overalls. I wore them when I was a kid, so it's coming back. Some of the fabric options includes your denim, your twill, your chino, your corduroy, your cotton, types linen poplin so basically you can use whatever fabric that you would like in order to sew you some overalls so look to see some overalls by the end of the summer into pre-fall next pattern is 9595 all right so this is a super jiff wrap and tie pant skirt pattern now this is a very easy pattern it's one size now for this one it's a, like a 1970s meaning vintage wrap and it's a tight pant skirt pattern in one side with a stitch line for, that goes from small, medium, whatever. So basically what it is, is basically you, you have your pants, but you also have your wrap skirt. So I am here for it. And this is one of the patterns that I definitely, definitely want to sew because guess what? If you don't know from the front of the pattern, it's one pattern piece, which means easy to cut, easy to sew, and you good to go. All right, so some of the uh, fabric options you can use is cotton type, linen, chali, your crepes, your do uh, double gauze, your georgettes if you wanted to, and you could also use a border print as well. So just take note of that, that this is a very easy pattern. Moving on, now we're getting into the Mimi G patterns, okay. So Mimi G came out with several patterns for the summertime and everything is back out. <laughs> okay. So the first one is uh, 9597. It's an easy to sew pattern. And if you don't know, Mimi G has sew alongs with all of her patterns. So this is a flared ankle length dress and jumpsuit with button back bodice. And it has a shape midriff tier. Now, the back of it reminds me of a previous pattern that she did, which was 8890. And, but the difference is she added like a buster crop thing going on to view A um, to make it a little different. So I do like that some of her recent patterns have been basically a hint to a previous pattern that she have done with different style, just basically a style change basically is what it is. But like I said, all of them are easy to sew. I plan on doing both view A and view B. I would not make it all the way down to the ankles. I would shorten it to probably the knees, but some of the fabric options you can use is silky types, gauze, rayon, cottons. Of course, you guys know me. I probably will use cotton because it's hot here in Orlando. Now, moving on from 9597, I picked up 9598, which is an average pattern and it's a slim V. So basically it's a bodycon dress just to give you an idea of what it is. Um, but on the website, it says it's a pullover knit dress in two lengths. It have long sleeves and short sleeves with a cut out back 
and a twist detail in the back. Now for me, I plan on doing view A. View B is just a little too long for me. However, I will lengthen view A because looking at Mimi, it's above the knees. And for my comfort level, it needs to be at the knees or below the knees, okay? To cover everything. I like to be a little modest. Um, this is an average pattern if I have not said so already. Another thing, just make note that if you do this dress, you need knit fabric, rib knit, jersey knit, ponty knit, ITY. You need knit in order to do this. Now, 95.98 is the missus pattern and 95.99 is the woman pattern. And the woman pattern has needle in the bell. Fabulous. Yes, she is fabulous. Um, and she's basically the... Um, model for Mimi G's pattern for plus size models. I think she did a gorgeous job on $95.99. I did not pick that up, but I'm just letting you know that's the um, plus size uh, pattern for Mimi G's $95.98. Moving along, $9,600. Now, I had mixed feelings about this pattern, and I know there's a few of you that were like, um, I don't know about this pattern. And to be honest, I didn't know about this pattern either. either. However, looking at the line art, I see potential, okay? And that's what I go for when I pick up the pattern. You can't always go by that front of the envelope because, honey, the front of the air envelope will have you in your fillings, and I say that all the time. Now, this is a average knit dress. Well, here's the thing. I did not look at that when I picked up this pattern. So this pattern may be going back to the store, just to let you know. Because when it comes to knit, I don't do a lot of knit because it's hot here, okay, where I'm at. Now, this is a pullover uh, Empire V-neck knit dress. Basically, it's what it is. Now, one thing that I will mention is this dress is good for those who are, you know, expecting soon or you know, becoming pregnant, this would be a great maternity wear pattern to where you don't have anything, you know, quenching your waist or anything. Just like in view C, you can see that, you know, she's expecting, well, I won't say she's expecting, but you can see that it's good for maternity, all right? And for the fabric option, you will definitely need knit. Now, the reason why I picked it up is because I like view B, but I also like view A, the long sleeve. But like I said, this may be going back simply because after picking it up, I noticed that it says knit when, <laughs> as reading the back of the envelope and I don't need any knits pattern being that it's hot here, okay? Moving along, 9602 is the next pattern. It's a caftan pattern and caftan and wraps. Now you guys know I have said caftans are not my thing. However, my friend Talisha have sewn, I think two caftans. I've seen that so Monica last month they did caftans for so your view and these caftans were fire okay so I decided to go ahead and pick up a caftan and try different a different fabric or something maybe it was just the fabric option that I chose for the last caftan where I was just like no I don't want to do a caftan again but it's not the end of the world and I will be doing another caftan sometime okay now this is the average pattern um it has front bands and uh self ties it also has a flared sleeves and it also has a flounce you can do it with the flounce as well like you see in view b a and c now the reason why i picked it up is for both view a and view b are the two options that i would do some of the fabric options you can use is the chali shake news cottons of course cotton lawn crepe double gauze I'm pretty sure you can use a Georgette if you wanted to. Linen, rayon. So there's so many options that you could do for this pattern. Moving on. Now listen, when I seen this one, I wanted to jump through the screen. It is Simplicity 9604. Easy to sew pattern. It's basically a pullover blouse with a V-neck. All right. And it has the balloon sleeves with elastic at the hem and the flutter sleeves as well. Now, when I looked at this pattern, it reminds me of the new look pattern that I did for the So What series in that purple, okay? Because it did have some pleating in that pattern, on that pattern as well. So it just made sense for me to pick this one up. I don't know if I would do it in a purple, but I do plan on doing it in like a teal, a yellow, something that's bright and in your face, okay? This, and once again, this is an easy to sew pattern. Moving on to the next pattern. You guys know I love this pattern. It's Simplicity 9605. 
easy to sew pattern as well. Now this pattern is a crew neck top, which has the smocking at the waistline, armhole ruffles, of course, and you have different options. You could do it sleeveless, you could do it with the ruffle sleeves. Also, it has a V-neck option with the drawstring as well, which you have in view A. You know, so basically it has bust darts, it has a back keyhole as well with a button closure, which you guys know I do not like button closures whatsoever, so I will probably add ties to the back of my uh, top. But I'm here for it. I like what the model's wearing in view C. Some of the fabric options that you could use for this is of course your um, cotton fabrics, your chambray, your dotted Swiss, gauze, gingham, linen, sheer sucker, shirting. There's so many fabrics that you could use for this pattern. But once again, it's 9605. Moving on to the next one is 9606, which is the average pattern, average, skill level pattern, I should say. It's semi-fitted with a deep V. It also has a round neckline as well. Now, the reason why I picked it up is because I like what the model was wearing is view A, um, because it also has a center front button and a self-loop closure with an underlap. And it, now I see in view B the lace trim. You probably did not see that when you originally look at the pattern because we all probably looked straight at the model. But I actually go by the line art and I like what I see. Now, the model is wearing view A. I do not like that lace trim whatsoever. So I would probably uh, do view A, but omit the lace trim period, okay? And you know, some of the fabric options, chalice, chemise, cotton lawns, cotton blanche, uh, crepe, gingham, soft linen, you have silk types as well. So yes, I love this, okay? Next one, 9607, it's an easy to sew pattern. It's basically your, your uh, faux wrap skirt is basically what it is. It also has pleat details on the side, panels and a asymmetrical hem, which I like. It also has, you can also have contrast panels as well. And it also has uh, the back waist darts and an invisible zipper in the back. Now some, like I said, it's easy to sew. Some of the fabric options for this is basically any type of fabric. You have your cotton, your gauze, your linen, your chemise, rayon if you choose. So yeah, you, you have many different options you could do with this skirt. Next pattern, I am here for it. It's uh, 9608. So this is an easy to sew pattern. It's wide leg pants. You also have the skirt as well. There's a skirt option in view C, you know, with the elastic waistband. It also has the functional button placket on the side seam, the side of your pocket. So I love that. You also have a crop view on view B. Now my idea is to do view B, but do it in shorts and also view A and do that in pants. You may see that coming sometime this summer, all right? But that's uh, what I picked up for 9608. And some of the fabric options is basically any type of fabric, your cottons, your gauze, your linen, your shawley, your denim, any type of fabrics you could use for this pattern. Next pattern is 9609, which is a Madeline pattern, which if you don't know Madeline, she does a lot of lingerie patterns and swimsuit patterns. She have done lo uh, lounge wear pattern as well. Now this is an average to sew, pa average sew pattern. It's a swimsuit which have a deep V or a scoop neckline with a cutout and band details. Now, Madeline also have like these little kits that you could purchase to where you don't even have to go try to find what you need to sew her patterns together. She actually put a kit for you. So I thought that was great. Also, Madeline have um, increased her sizes. So now Madeline sizes go from extra small to 4X which is a cup size of A to H, which I thought was great. So she's including more sizes for her patterns. For this pattern, you will definitely need stretch swimsuit style fabrics, okay? And then make sure, take note of the lining. I would use power mesh or stretch mesh um, for the lining for this swimsuit. But I did pick it up because you guys know, listen, I want to sew a swimsuit and it was on my list. If you looked at the 12 patterns that you can sew up to beat the summer heat. Moving on, next pattern, 9610. It is an easy to sew pattern. It's a basically a crop shirt. <laughs> now you don't have to do the crop shirt. You could do the regular relaxed fit shirt as well. Like you see in view A, view B is your crop fit. 
and then view C as your pants and view D as your shorts, right? Now, there's a couple things. This has a drop shoulder. If you are looking at view A, it has that drop shoulder, which I like. You guys have to look at the line art for these patterns. Now, if you look in view B, it has that back detail that has a cutout, and that's what drew me to this pattern instead of the front of the pattern, because I'm just gonna be honest. The model is great, but she doesn't look really great for me to want to pick up the pattern. That's why I pick, I always look at the line art versus the actual front of the pattern. That's just the tip. But some of the fabrics that you can use is basically any type of fabric. You can use your ch chambray, your cottons, denims, linens, poplins, any, basically any type of lightweight fabric you could use to sew this together. Next pattern I picked up, I was on the fence. And this may be another one that goes back to the store. I'm still up in the air with it because I do not like sleeveless patterns. I really don't. And I know I'm gonna have to add sleeves onto this, but I really picked it up for the shorts because you guys know I've been wanting to put more shorts in my wardrobe because I lack shorts in my wardrobe. But this is a sleeveless waist pullover um, tunic um, pattern that has shorts and pants. So this is 9611. It's an easy to sew pattern, which is why I picked it up. You can make a mini wardrobe. If you look in the back of view A, it has a crisscross over going over that. Um, some of the fabric options includes cotton, poplin, linens, denim, chambray, silky types, and then lightweight cottons for your pockets, basically. But the shorts are like Bermuda style shorts, which I like as well. But yeah, I went ahead and picked it up, but I'm thinking I might take this one back as well. Because after picking it up, it's like, eh, eh, it's, it's okay, but it's not all that. So I don't know. I might keep it. I don't know yet. Next pattern I picked up is 9612. It's an average sewing pattern it's a top with hip or crop length and it has sleeve variations many different sleeves it has princess seams as well with an elastic waist to create that puplin that peplum effect as well and um, it also has the shorts I'm here for those shorts and the pants so the reason why I picked it up is strictly for view C and D. I really did not pick it up for the top as well. But if I do this pattern, I would do view B top with the sleeves and then do the shorts on view D. Cause like I just said, I'm putting more shorts in my wardrobe, but this is 9612. Next one is 9613. It's the easy to sew pattern. It's basically a crop top in a skirt. However, make note of the skirt because the skirt has buttons on that front tier and then you have like a um, bottom tier with soft gathers, okay? Now, on this pattern for the crop top, just make notes that you can always lengthen it. If you don't wanna show your belly, your tummy, whatever, you know, you could always lengthen it, okay? But this has a high back as well and a fitted waist, it's a fitted waist skirt from what I seen online um, last week for this pattern, but it's 9613. Some of the fabric options for 9613 includes, of course, your cottons, your um, denim, your gauze, your gingham, your linen blend. There's so many different fabric options you could use for this pattern. Now I'm looking at gingham to use for this pattern, but we'll see when I get to this pattern. Next pattern is 9614, which is a teens, misses, and men's shirt pattern. So basically you could do it for the whole family. What it is is basically an oversized polo style shirt that you can make in short sleeves or long sleeves. The collars, you could contrast the collar and the placket. So I thought this would be great for myself, my daughter, and my husband because she's almost a teenager. I can't believe it. But this is an easy to sew pattern. Just take note. Now this one will not be going a bag. But just take note that you will need to sew this pattern with knit fabric like your Ponte, ITY, Bamboo Terry, French Terry. You could use many different fabrics, but make sure you do it in a knit fabric. And the last pattern that I picked up is a 9615, which is a easy to sew pullover flared skirt, like a swing dress, but it's like patchwork. And what I mean by patchwork is basically you have, you could color block the entire dress. Now, many of you may sleep on the whole color blocking thing and it's not my thing to color block, yada, 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 right? But I can actually, I picked it up because I want to show how you could color block a pattern and make it look nice versus 
taking a pattern, hacking it, adding some seam allowance like I did, and I'm gonna put it up on the screen. I, did, I took a Nordstrom jacket, hacked it, and made it my own, okay? And that jacket was a $350 cardigan, is what it was, but I did it for every bit of about $30. So a fraction of the cost. So you could do something like that as well, but some of the fabric options for Simplicity 9615, are of course your cotton, <laughs> your linen, your chalet chambray. You also have, can use gingham plaid, you know, many different fabric options. But that's all the patterns that I picked up in this pattern haul. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, keep sewing.